I think it is very important that uh, we train patient advocates on the process because health technology assessment is a very complex area. It's an economical area, a very methodological area where people can't go in there just with a wish. They need to understand how their process works. They need to know how they can bring in the specific patient perspective into that process. And that requires an understanding, that it requires how does HTA work, what are the questions being asked, what I'm being expected to do as a patient advocate, what can I ask for and what probably doesn't make sense to bring in here because it's probably sitting elsewhere in the regulatory process. And that's why I think education like we're doing in EU Party is very essential. And I think the biggest challenge for the patients is to learn when it is best to talk about your disease on behalf of the people that you represent and when is the moment to talk about societal impact. I suppose what they need first of all is to understand what the process is. It, it's very hard to find a one-size-fits-all course on HTAs for Europe and um, so it is complex and that's where I would say UPATI is going to be really important but the national liaison teams and, and the UPATI platforms which we're developing in each country are going to be really important too because that's where our patient leaders who have gone through courses in UPATI can go back to their home countries and really talk to their agencies there so that they will develop training courses um, with patients on the ground because those systems are different depending on where you are.